Hey, hello and welcome to another model building workshop. Today we're going to look at a pair of F5, well, either Tigers or Freedom Fighters. These are probably Freedom Fighters since these are export versions. Um, these are from Northrop Aircraft Company and the design of the F5 came about in the late 1950s and production was from the late 19, like 1959 to somewhere around 1987. So this had a very long production run and a lot of these are still in service around the world today. So this here is the Revell kit in 172nd scale and this is a Spanish version in the overall natural metal with the Spanish roundel and the the old X on the myself situated the old X on the tail which is still a remnant from the Spanish Civil War in Francisco Franco all those years ago in the 1930s um, that's a remnant from that per period still there so this is the like I said the Ravel kit a lot of uh, fun missiles and wing tanks and things here Decent cockpit in there, if you can see it. So that's the Ravel one in 77 scale. And let's take a look at I still have the instructions. I recently had a flood in my basement, so a number of things ended up kind of having to go. <laughs> so... I don't have all the paperwork and stuff that I used to have because, well, <laughs> we have a flood. It's got to go. Luckily, this room here, this, as you can, I don't know if you can really get a scale of this. I know some people have asked to see all of my workshop. And, and, for the, and to be honest, for this workbench, you're pretty much seeing the entire thing. There's a wall right here, but if I outstretch my arm, I'm hitting the wall. That, that, that's how small this is. Uh, but it's enough to get a bench in here, you know, and, and some paint and some other supplies and, and go to town, right? I've got another room, you know, that I can work in as well, but the flood's kind of, I had to rearrange and that's a whole other issue. So, <laughs> so here's the instruction sheet. You can see it for the Ravel kit. And it wasn't too bad. I'm making it sound negative by saying that. It really, I didn't. I don't recall any real problems with this. Just you've got to be patient, do some painting, put some stuff together, do some painting, add some you know decals to the control panels. So there's a lot of nitpicky stuff. You got to put the weight in if you want this thing to sit right. I don't mean, know if they even tell you that here in the instructions. But generally, when you're building a jet. You know, you kind of have to come up with some kind of nose weight. Gets a little busy in the instructions over here. Of all the underwing stores and whatnot. It's tiny, so you got to pay attention and be careful with that. I mean, the landing gear is very fragile, so. Keep that in mind. I've got all kinds of gibberish written out here for the painting, because as usual, they big it. Well, actually, I shouldn't say as usual. In this case, Ravel likes to give these ABC sheets that list all the colors in pretty much every language there is in Europe. Yeah, nothing in Asia or the Middle East, though, just European languages. That does have Russian. Greek and no, it's not just Russian. Well, maybe not. There's a few different ones in the Cyrillic alphabet. So here's some other bits of the instructions here. Whoop. Instructions here. So I mean, it's to be expected. You know, when you build it, building a jet, they give you the option if you want to have the windows of the cockpit open. But that's kind of cool. I opted not to do that, but you could do that. 
And there are sets out there of pilot figures for this scale if you really want to go crazy and put pilots in or a ground crew. You could you can do that in 70 second scale. They have a standard generic NATO one. And I don't have all of the instructions because I only have the painting guide here for the Norwegian plane, which is kind of a gray with gray, two-tone gray. Not Norwegian, what am I saying? The Netherlands. I think I have a different kit in Norway. So that's the Netherlands. So you have a Dutch plane and two-tone gray. But I thought the Spanish one was nice and colorful, so I did that. Now we're going to contrast that with this kit, which is the old Airfix one that's been around almost as long as the plane's been in existence, I'm guessing. So I'm thinking this kit's been around since the 60s, maybe early 70s. So this is an ancient kit. And you can tell, I would think pretty much right off the bat, that the detail of this kit is not anywhere near as good as the Ravel one. But for the age, this isn't bad. You just have to be patient with the Airfix kit. You have to be um, mindful of seams and gluing and putty and things like that. If you look carefully, you'll see that this nose is on a weird angle. Unfortunately, that didn't come out well. But, oops. Uh, and I decided to have fun with this. And, uh, well, the Airfix one, you know, did come in Iranian markings um, even back then. I decided I would do this in a, a newer version of Iranian markings. You know, and their, their camouflage with their roundel. Actually, what's interesting is they don't have the same tail insignia on both sides. There's a tiger on this side and like an eagle on the other one. Thought that was kind of fun. Thought I'd try it just for something different. And also because the Iranian model uh, markings that were in this model kit from way back because this is one of those bubble pack model kits if you recall or seen those piece of cardboard with a plastic bubble that had the parts in it <laughs> and the instructions are on the back of the uh, the cardboard sheet and that that was it <laughs> but those were fun back in the day I used to like going to like I I'm I'm starting to sound really old when I say this I used to go to the drugstore and they would have a rack with these kits on it um, and you could buy some for something to do on a rainy Saturday or whatever, you know, yeah, get the eagle on this side. So this is the Airfix one with a slightly new decal set because the old decals were pretty worn out. So you now there you have it is a pair of F5, ironically freedom fighters, <laughs> but. <laughs> but have five fighter planes. All right, folks. Hope you enjoyed the show, and we'll catch you next time on the Model Building Workshop. Bye.